myself jagdish i have secured 249th rank in civil service exam 2016 and i have secured one of the highest marks in the interview that is 206 i am here to share my journey through this preparation therefore first i will talk about my journey my experience with civil services examination how it has been for the past 4 5 years and then i will talk about the specific preparation strategy that one should, uh, one may can adopt to actually clear this examination and towards the end of it i will just give whatever wisdom that i have gathered from this through these years of experience first i would like to talk about this preparation that i have begun in the year 2012 that was my first attempt when i came to give civil services examination in the year 2012 i was working in a bank prior to that so i had just resigned from that job and then came to civil service exam preparation the exam was in the month of may 2012 i had absolutely no preparation whatsoever and for the examination however i was confident that i will clear the examination because of csat csat as i had uh, cleared my cat examination to get in to get admission into iim iims cat being one of the toughest examinations i thought csat should not be an issue for me to clear and with that confidence i should say rather i was overly confident about clearing the exam through csat i had given that examination without much of a preparation and i ended up getting 208.16 in csat 2000 i mean uh, the civil service examination 2012 when the cut off was 209 that was the first shocker that i had in my years of preparation so the first thing that i learned in my preparation was never to be over confident jo whatever i you know effort that i had put into that did not materialize because i did not read much of gs so that was my first year of civil service examination which ended in the preliminary stage itself so the first lesson that i gathered never be over confident you might be the topper in your school you might be the topper in your university it does not matter civil services demand something else you have to adapt to that that's the first thing that i learned that's how my first year has gone by next came the year 2013 you know uh, in the year 2012 i had secured only 140 in csat back then it was not a qualifying examination so that really hurt me in a sense that how can i get 140 in csat you know this i was supposed to get minimum the bare minimum i was expecting was something like 170 i had ended up with 140s so the next year i had put in effort into csat into gs as well and i ended up getting 183.33 in csat paper that was not a qualifying examination so, so i had got 183 and the cut off was something like 241 and i had around 100 in gs so i could clear the exam preliminary stage without much of an issue i had something like 280 when the cut off was 241 so the preliminary stage had gone by so i had cleared it without much of a problem and then came the mains in the year 2013 the main syllabus had been changed so when the main syllabus was changed i was not ready for that and i thought when i had cleared the preliminary examination so it will not be much of an issue for me to go through you know mains examination i was not able to fathom i was not able to comprehend the level of preparation that one needs to actually clear this examination in mains stage especially so i just prepared whatever i could there was around 7 8 months of time i thought i could be able to uh, clear this examination with 7 8 months of preparation i had given the exam just going through i had not taken any test series in 2013 i thought one preparation should be sufficient for me to go through that one as well so uh, i gave that examination i was actually you know having that nurturing that that wild dream of you know clearing the examination i thought the, i would be able to clear it easily but when the results came it was a shocker to me that the cut off was 564 in the year 2013 for general category i had 457 out of this total examination which meant that i left i lost the cut off or i failed the examination by a margin of 107 marks 107 marks is such a distant thing that you cannot actually you know do that without uh, you know uh, doing something drastically correct or rectifying whatever you have done so drastically wrong and then i decided the first thing that came to me then i realized that though i was an iim student that this exam de- de- demanded something else which i was completely lacking that is the actual time when i realized that civil service exam is serious thing up to then i was having only this thing that you know i will give a maximum of two or three attempts maximum three nothing more than that but here i was had already lost two attempts without making much of a progress and then in the year 2014 i became serious and i th- i knew that prelims i will clear it easily because of my csat examination i i realized that my gs is the one that is actually pulling me back 
I put effort into GS. I did whatever I could in the year 2014. Everything went relatively smoothly. But in the year 2014 mains, what happened is that my uh, essay actually hit me hard. I experimented in essay, saying that you know I wrote one of the essay as a dialogue thing, basically between the conversation between two people, let's say X and Y. I wrote it in that particular fashion. Everything went. And again in the year 2014, the results came in the month of May 2015 for the 2014 examination. Again I failed. That was the first time in my throughout my life when I failed any stage twice. My Hamesha fail fail hota tha, like ek, ek stage pe ek bar fail hota tha. Mainne, never twice. This was the first time I failed in the same in a single stage twice. That hit me hit me that, that's one of the lowest points in my preparation. I couldn't even do anything on that particular thing. I didn't even know what has actually hit me to become fail, failure in that one. Because I had really put in some effort into that one. Then it was when the marks came in the year 2015, July number when the marks came, I was uh, I got 63 in essay. The cutoff was 678, and I had 630 in mains, and I had 63 in essay. Which basically meant that I lost the mains, not because of any other thing, but only because of my essay. Essay 60, it's wash out. It's basically you are not fit for you know clearing the mains examination. That was the scenario. So I realized that there is something drastically uh, you know, I have to improve upon. That is the point I decided to explore. But up to then I was preparing on my own, not much of a group as well, singly prepare karata. Since I had not taken any coaching for the examination, I did not have many friends as well, so with whom I could actually interact. Then I decided that okay, I will just uh, switch over to Delhi. Till then I was in Hyderabad, so I switch over kiya tha Delhi ko. Came to Delhi and then started interacting with people. Ki mujh mein kya kami thi jo, which actually pulling me back. I came in the year 2015. And one more thing happened, fortunately or for my benefit or wrong, in the year 2015, CSAT was made qualifying. When CSAT was made qualifying, that was the first shaker actually, matlab, will I be able to clear prelims? Because till then I was clearing the examination predominantly because of, of CSAT. I would not say only because of CSAT, but predominantly because of CSAT. So that was a kind of thing to me. There was many other people also who were saying that I was failing the exam only because of CSAT. Agar CSAT remove karta hai, tum prelims bhi nahi kar paoge. All these things started doing rounds. You know, had I failed in 2015 prelims, that would have lent credence to what people were actually saying. So I decided that no, I mean, no matter what, whether it is prelims, is, you know, CSAT is qualifying or whatever. If I have to clear this exam, I have to clear it no matter what. Whatever these preliminary, whether it's CSAT is qualifying or normal. So I said, okay, I will just go through this one. I had put into effort into that one, only GS. CSAT was never a problem to me. So put entire effort into GS. So I got something like around 116 and cutoff was 107. I was clearing it easily. This is the point. 2015 mains was the point. And most of you, in fact, all of you may not even believe that that was the first time when I had taken any material of any coaching institution. The only thing that I had was I should be able to clear this without just going through newspaper and all. So uh, then I realized that you know it may not work because the information that I have to uh, gather to clear this examination must be from various sources and it is a vast amount of information which I may not be able to gather by reading two, three newspapers. That's what I realized and then I said okay I, now I have to go through some sort of Material and all, then I purchased some uh, materials, gone through that one apart from the standard text and so on. Then uh, gave this, gave mains, and also I joined one of the test series as well. Fortunately, in 2015, I was uh, when the results were uh, announced, I was really that was I was under, really under tense, uh, really tense that whether I will be able to make through prelims, I mean through mains or not. Fortunately, I made it. 2015 ka prelims uh, mains clear ho gaya tha. Then I was started preparing for main interview in the year 2016. Uh, 2016, that is for 2015 mains. When I started preparing, then again the same, you know, I attended mock interviews, I attended mock interviews in various places, I attended in GS score as well, so last year also. So wherever I was going, you know, most of the feedback that I was getting was that, yes, uh, you are really good and you should be able to get something like 190 or 200. So I was also confident that I will get you know those sort of scores in the interview, so mujhe laga ke ho jayega, matlab, it will not take much time for me to clear this uh, interview stage and all. I prepared well also for the interview and when the interview day came, that was on 31st March 2016, 
that was the worst thing that can ever happen to me and that was the worst interview i had for no reason i don't know that, that was beyond my control something i don't know what went wrong what hit me in the interview but i got only 151 i was supposed i was actually expected to get something like 200 but i ended up getting 151 gone complete disaster there was no way that i can make it to you know this final list when it was 150 i still remember the uh, results were declared on may 10th 2016 results came in at 4:10 pm 4:10 pm i did not make it i realized that you know i was not in the final list and i was uh, teaching in one of the institutions so i had to take a class at 4:45 aadha ghanta ka samay tha jo matlab i had to get over the disappointment i i couldn't even cancel that class because it was very late for them to arrange for anything else that was almost you know that is the nadir that i had actually touched because i don't know i didn't know what to do because that was my fourth attempt and i had only two attempts and i was already nearing 30 the age was also one of the issues that i had to tackle because those of you are watching the video you know that you know once you are getting to 30 and you are still unmarried you know what exactly the sort of pressure that will actually be put on your mind i didn't know what to do 445 i had to take the class and when i was actually coming i had received you know that message from you know coaching institutions that so and so student of ours is you know country topper ya country second rank country third rank are bhai pehle mera clear nahi hua yaar ye sab message dekh ke aur bhi bura laga tha kya hai matlab i couldn't even you know control myself ki matlab there is something going wrong in this one drastically i took that class i had to take that class because i had already committed to them took that class and just finished it in one one and a half hours when the class was two hours and then just went home this that was the first time or probably the second time that i literally cried because of my performance in the examination tab tak maine kabhi nahi roya tha ki jab bhi exam mein fail hota tha ki matlab theek hai it's fine enough it does not matter to failure to aata hi but isme mujhe matlab i was feeling like crying because i literally cried it's not because of you know i was not able to fail but because of what else can i do matlab that, that was my fourth attempt what else could i do जितने भी मैं करता था मतलब इट वाज फॉलिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स जितने भी करूं मतलब आई वाज नॉट एबल टू मेक इट सो व्हाट एल्स दैट पिंचड मी दैट पिंचड मी कंटीन्यूअसली इट पिंचड मी एंड देन आई सेड 2016 मई 10th वाज द रिजल्ट दो तीन दिन मैंने ब्रेक लिया दिल्ली से मैं मतलब आई वेंट टू हैदराबाद जस्ट टू स्पेंड सम टाइम विद फ्रेंड्स 10 डेज कंप्लीट ब्रेक आई डिडंट इवन स्टडी एनीथिंग एब्सोल्युटली नथिंग जस्ट वेंट देयर एंड देन जस्ट रिलैक्स नथिंग एल्स देन केम बैक आई यू नो देन आई रियलाइज दैट यू नो देयर इज something that people are doing that which is lacking in me jo bhi matlab alag bande kar rahe the wo main nahi kar pa raha tha it's not because i am not capable that was never that was not the doubt the doubt came into my mind whether will i be able to make it after 2014 means pehle bar jo laga tha ki am i capable matlab pehle ye tha ki i am an iim mba graduate so i am kolkata ka tha to obviously i had that you know in uh, andar se wo tha ki matlab confidence or overconfidence i should be able to make it yaar any sir any day this is also an exam i should be able to clear this one ho nahi pa raha tha to pehle bar laga tha ki kya ho payega mere se but somehow i persisted i thought you know i convinced myself that yes i can make it so jab main fail ho gaya tha dusre bar tab ghar pe bhi pressure aane lag gaya ki yaar abhi chhod do you have a good corporate you have good career mba kiya tha iim se iim kolkata se so obviously i will get more than decent job maybe 1 2 lakh salary so i can just get settled there that was the easier way out for me mujhe laga nahi this is my dream this is what i have nurtured since my childhood to isko karna hi padega so then because of that then i continued so 2006 2016 what i have done पहले मुझे लगा कि लेट मी स्टडी फॉर प्रीलिम्स प्रीलिम्स देयर वाज ओनली 2 मंथ्स सो आई हैड पुट कंप्लीट माय 100% एफर्ट इनटू द प्रीलिम्स तो प्रीलिम्स इवेंचुअली आई वाज गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक 130 135 कट ऑफ वाज समथिंग अराउंड 115 सो शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम आई क्लियरड इट देन केम मेंस दैट वाज द बिगेस्ट हर्डल या एंड जस्ट वन मोर थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू एड बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू द 16 मेंस वाज दैट 2015 में कट ऑफ वाज 676 फॉर जनरल कैटेगरी एंड आई हैड 677 व्हिच मेंट I had cleared the cutoff by one mark. एक mark से मेरा clear हो गया था. मतलब it was by chance that I cleared. अगर एक भी question कहीं भी exam attempt किया नहीं होता तो मेरा नहीं हो पाता. That was the scenario. So interview में I needed literally two hundred to actually make it into the final list. That was nowhere because I had only one fifty. So मुझे लगा the, everything that is actually going wrong is going wrong in mains. So then I thought okay I should do something in mains. Then I spoke to people. 2015 तक मतलब I don't know what exactly I was thinking, but मुझे ये लगा कि किसी दूसरे के टापर्स की आंसर शीट देखने की जरूरत भी नहीं है 
मुझे लगा मुझे मतलब हु आर दे दे आर ऑल्सो लाइक मी वॉट एल्स दे वुड रिटर्न अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉट आई आई एम थिंकिंग माई बी आई एम सेव सो दे आर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम नॉर्मल स्कूल दे आई एम फ्रॉम आई एम सो आई डोंट थिंक दे कैन डू समथिंग समथिंग स्पेक्टेकुलर देन वॉट आई एम डूइंग दैट वॉज दिथ आई हैड कभी नहीं देखा था नॉट इवन सिंगल टॉप और सांसर शीट हैड सीन टिल टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन जुलाई अगस्त लेकिन तब मुझे रियलाइजेशन हो गया था कि देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग इन यू जगदीश यू हैव टू डू समथिंग समथिंग यू नो यू आर फॉलोइंग इट ड्रेस्टिकली देन आई सॉ द टॉप और स्मार्क शीट पीपल मे नॉट इवन बिलीव दट बट दट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम इन माई फिफ्थ अटेम्प्ट इज वॉट आई हैव सीन टॉप और स्मार्क शीट उससे पहले कभी नहीं देखा था मैंने किसी का भी जो भी हो मतलब वट एवर इट इज आई थाट कि मतलब they are especially whatever they are writing i can do it better but i realized that everyone have their own strength which may not be my strength people who have done their ba people who have done their political science history geography obviously are better equipped to write answers in mains than what we are doing then i realized went through topper answer sheets some 20 30 40 more than that and I spoke to my friends who have cleared the examination who had more than decent marks cleared the exam by getting some who got into ias and so on then i went through that put my every total effort into that one giant couple of test series as well and then i wrote my mains i thought i will get really really good marks in mains so i was confident of clearing mains 2016 mains was the first time that i was confident that i will clear mains no matter what the cut off is i will clear it this time how conf- that's how confident i was about 2016 mains ki mera hope aayega is baar then the results came and eventually i cleared the examination then the interview stage that last year experience was pinching me this time that jagdi see i mean it does not matter whether what people are saying ki sab log bol rahe ki tere 200 aayega ya fir 190 aayega 210 aayega whatever it is but i thought nahi what people are saying is immaterial to me i have to make it this time ki i have to material i have to make sure that it is it becomes a reality so i went back went back to the notification mujhe notification mein main padha ki what ups is expecting in interview what they are what they are wanting from the candidate read that and went through that thoroughly ki what else you know what all the things that they are expecting read that and try to incorporate that for 2016 interview the thing that i did differently was that 2015 civils ka interview ke mein maine zyada padhne ke liye koshish ki thi i thought of reading more and more and then you know gathering more knowledge and then you know answering acing each and every question in the interview but then i realized it's not going to work 2016 interview ke liye maine ye strategy banaya tha ki whatever it is i have to do mental conditioning सो so, पहले मेरा दिमाग को बदलने एंड दैट इज वेयर आई थॉट द जी एस कोर इंटरव्यू वॉज रियली हेल्पफुल टू मी आई मेट अगरवाल सर अगरवाल सर हु वॉज वन ऑफ दी पैनलिस्ट मेंबर्स ओवर हियर आई केम टू हिम सिंस ही वॉज वन ऑफ दी यू नो ही वॉज वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यू पैनल मेंबर्स ऑल्सो प्रीवियसली इन यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विस इट सेल्फ आई थॉट इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प मी आई स्पोक टू सर आई सेट सर दिस इज वॉट हैज एपेंड टू मी लास्ट टाइम सब लोग यही बोल रहे थे कि आपको दो सौ मिलेगा या फिर वन नाइनटी मिलेगा बट टेल मी वॉट एक्जैक्टली आई शुड I had some fears in my mind. I was actually working in a coaching institution. Coaching institution, me, me, काम कर रहा था कि I was skeptical whether I should uh, say that. So, uh, thing or not. Sir said this thing that, see, no matter what you are doing, as long as you are doing some legal work, as long as you are doing honestly, that's fine enough. So that that made me free. That where I am working is not going to have any impact on my interview performance. Rather, you know, in, uh, interview marks that the panelists are going to award. I had a di- personal discussion with sir, and I also had an interview session with sir as well. so agarwal sir se kiya tha uske baad it really helped me then i went to into the interview this time i realized that even if i am not able to not able to answer questions some of the questions that's fine enough but whatever i am answering i will answer it from my heart jo bhi mujhe lagta hai din dil mein se jo bhi lagta hai wohi sawal wahan pe jawab dunga and nothing like what they are expecting so that is what i have done i tried to maintain that ek do question kuch kar nahi paya tha matlab in the heat of the moment i could not answer them properly but interview went really well so every all the panelists were happy they were you know that they were really happy with my performance except one or two panelist members the other three i really can i could convince them with my answers when i came out of the interview the first time the first feeling that i had when i was you know that uh, wearing that blazer and then buttoning it that i thought is all ho jayega the interview was good is all ho jayega so i might i thought i will get something like 190 because interview was good my communication was good the way i was talking you know, i was giving honest answers i was giving answers to the point i thought ki i will make it this time when the results came i was you know i thought my mains went really really well it it went way above the expectations is what i felt so mujhe ye lag raha tha ki matlab if my mains went really well 
आई विल मेक इट इन टू टॉप हंड्रेड अगर मेन्स ठीक से नहीं हुआ तो आई विल बी समथिंग लाइक टू फिफ्टी इनफैक्ट आई हैड टोल्ड इट टू माई अंकल एज वेल सी देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट आई विल एंड अप विथ इफ आई मेन्स वॉज गुड आई विल बी हंड्रेड प्लस आर माइनस ट्वेंटी दैट्स वर्ष यू इफ माई मेन्स वॉज बैड आई विल बी टू हंड्रेड प्लस आर माइनस फिफ्टी दिस इज वॉट आई हैड टोल्ड टू डेज बिफोर दी यू नो फाइनल रिजल्ट ऑल्सो टू माई अंकल एज वेल विच मेन बेसिकली बिफ्टीन एटी टू वन ट्वेंटी आर वन फिफ्टी टू टू फिफ्टी इवेंचुअली ऑन द रिजल्ट आई एंड अप विथ टू फोर्टी नाइन टू वर्ड्स द फैग एंड ऑफ दैट वन टू फिफ्टी के पास तो मुझे लगा मेन्स में थोड़ा इधर उधर हो गया था या फिर इंटरव्यू में थोड़ा कम नंबर आ गया होगा द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई फेल्ट वेन आई सा दट रैंक वॉज माई गॉड रिलीव हो गया अभी जो भी इस साल करना है मतलब आई आई नीड नॉट गो थ्रू दिस यू नो चक्र ऑफ लाइफ एंड डेथ अगेन एंड अगेन जो तीन इंद्रो तीन लेवल्स होता है तो तीन लेवल पे हाँ मतलब लिटरली मरने का फायदा है मतलब मरने का पॉसिबिलिटी है प्रिलिम्स मेन्स एंड इंटरव्यू and after that also you don't have much time again you have to continue that is what other i thought oh i am relieved because this year you knew as the results were on may 31st the prelims was on june 18th there was hardly any time for you to you know pick up yourself had i failed this time i'm sure you know that uh, even prelims who, might have been a disaster but i was confident since my interview went well so fortunately i cleared this and i got 249th rank those five years of hard work whatever i had actually put into that or rather i would say some three years of hard work that intense hard work that has gone into that had materialized on the day of may 31st 2017 everything had been forgotten and right now i am standing before you you, you will only see what i am i got right now 249 the hard work that i had put into that before that no one else actually can even know because of my you know some personal issues i had to work i had to work you know to make sure that you know i am financially viable so i was not getting complete time i had to works to make sure that you know, i am going through with this one as well so what i say is that you know the only thing that you can see right now is that i am happy i have because i cleared the examination everything went well but everything was not rosy when i was actually preparing so much effort has gone into that there are there were so many disappointments there was it was only in 2016 that everything clicked that is what you know that the thing that i you would like you know i would like you to understand is that it is a long journey aapko dimag mein ye soch lena ki matlab 10 15 minute mein nahi ho payega da yaar ek do saal mein nahi ho payega i always say this one you see you know for people who have cleared it in first attempt theek hai who have cleared it in second attempt or maybe whatever that is you know i don't like to take names but you see last year topper and the toppers um, 3 4 years before that you know they had cleared it in their first attempt so that's fine enough but please understand he or she you know that if i consider the case of tina dabi who were the uh, top ranker last time her her graduation was political science and her optional was also political science which meant that she had already prepared for that since uh, since her graduation kya aap kar rahe the wo when you were actually doing that you pose this question to yourself were you doing this in your graduation aap engineering karke yahan pe aate ho and then you take your bad anthropology whatever whatever optional that you are taking then you don't expect yourself to clear it in the first attempt that is the first thing so aapko time lagta hai isme it needs time and it needs consistency as well if you are you know not planning to give more than two one year or two years is what you are planning to give it to the examination most likely that you will not be able to make it if you are planning to give 3 to 4 years you will definitely make it if you are confident you will definitely make that that is what i have realized time and effort इसको टाइम चाहिए और एफर्ट भी देने चाहिए यू विल डेफिनेटली मेक थ्रू दिस एग्जामिनेशन एंड लेट मी टेल यू वंस यू नो यू बिकम मेंटली फ्री थिंग्स विल स्टार्ट टू फ्लो फॉर इंस्टेंस दिस टाइम टू तो जून मई थर्टी फर्स्ट को रिजल्ट आया था उसके बाद ज्यादा टाइम वक्त भी नहीं था मेरे पास आई जस्ट यू नो आफ्टर द रिजल्ट यू नो दिस सेलिब्रेशन एंड एवरी थिंग वेंट ऑन आई हैड लिटरली प्रिपेयर नथिंग फॉर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन प्रिलियम्स अब्सल्यूटली नथिंग जीरो प्रिपरेशन and when i wrote the exam i was getting i am this is my last attempt so i was uh, i had to give otherwise i wouldn't have given i would have taken a break i got something like 120 this time i am getting something like 120 so according to upsc it should be something like 115 plus absolute zero preparation kuch padha hi nahi tha maine but since it that's basically because i am mentally very free now so the my mind was working really really uh, you know in a positive frame of mindset that is what will happen when your mindset is proper when you are mentally free and relaxed the things will start to flow so keep you know these things to yourself keep these things in your mind and then when you are start preparing on these things this has been my journey you know this through upsc for the past you know 4 5 years whatever it is
okay so that is what i would like to say and uh, one last thing that i uh, would like to say regarding this is that couple of things keep in mind number one don't be over confident you might be your school topper you might be your college first ranker but this demands something else maine pehle hi bola tha aapko main bhi iim se i had 99.93 in cat 99.93 percentile in cat is not a, is not an easier thing those of you are taken cat you will understand what exactly i am saying so but this exam demands something else go for that understand the demand of the examination then you will clear the exam first thing. secondly learn from others up don't think that everything you will learn it for yourself then you have to face failure so many times because that is what has actually happened to me agar main pehle hi realize hota ki what other people are doing i should try to replicate that probably it's just a you know hypothetical scenario but still i could have cleared it in 2014 or 2015 that's the second thing and number 3 you have to put time and effort never think that ki matlab on and off you are doing for 3 months you are studying and then one month break no it will not happen you have to be consistent and you have to put time and effort continuously and lastly everyone will have their own style my style is different from what your style is for instance i have one of my friends who reads hardly for some 4 5 hours but yet yet he managed to get into ias because his mental capacity is different and our mental capacity is different each one of us have a different mental capacity it's simple like you know saying that you know sehwag or dravid ka compare karo sehwag is sehwag he plays very fast he also is valuable dravid plays very slow but he is also valuable in fact sometimes we consider dravid to be more valuable than sehwag that is what you have to understand you have your own style if you don't know what your style is try to discover that don't fall into this trap of you know looking at others and then trying to replicate them what other people are doing what others are doing good you try to inculcate into you don't copy their style because they have been nurtured or they have been born and brought up in a different uh, setup and you are born and brought up in a different setup har kisi ka alag alag kahani hota hai see what i am saying is i am not saying you know i have done something spectacular in fact there are 248 people ahead of me who have done better than me in this particular examination but that doesn't you know uh, reduce my the level of achievement because i had done it in my own set of constraints or whatever the issues that i had to face that is what i would like to say each one of you have your own strength find that out and you will ace this examination that's for sure thank you and all the best to all of you